Hello whiskey lovers, good morning again from the beautiful city of Paris and it's another beautiful day behind me, the Sacré-Cœur or the Holy Heart Church which was built in from 1873 until 1875. But I'm, I'm not here to tell you a bit of a Parisian history, no, I'm here to talk to you about whiskey and today I would like to talk about Compass Box Canto Cask. Now Compass Box, as you know, is a, uh, a renowned whiskey maker uh, led by John Glazer in London. Uh, the company received the Whiskey Innovator of the Year award four times already and that's because they create innovative ideas, they create innovative whiskies and this is a great example of that. Uh, the Canto Cask was actually a one-off series of 16 single casks. The whiskey inside is from an undisclosed distillery or distilleries, I don't know, but the, 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 the trick was it was 16 different casks, meaning either American oak, new American oak or new French oak with a different level of charring, a different level of toasting. Now, Canto, by the way, is a, uh, well, the word is Latin and it signifies the principal form of division of a long poem whatever that means. But Canto Cast, that's why they chose uh, the name Canto, because John Glazer believes, Compass Box believes that the uh, single casks uh, are an essential part of an overall idea. Now I will be trying Canto Cask 35, which was a new American oak with a toast level 5. So it is a, a rather a medium to heavily toasted oak uh, and it is bottled at a cask strength of 54.4% ABV. It was originally uh, bottled for the Italian market and the, uh, the cask, this single cask, uh, released. Uh, it yielded 244 bottles. All right, tasting notes. It's got this beautiful full golden color as you can see. And it clings nicely to the glass. Well, it is of course cask strength 54.4% on the nose. Mmm, well. It's rather rough actually, it's, it's uh, on loads of vanilla, I get some white fruit as well, it's very fragrant though, but a lot of freshly sawn planks, you know, so, so fresh wood, wood shavings. Oh, the oak is big, the oak is big indeed and it gives it a nice spiciness with nutmeg and cloves. I also get some, some toffee apples. But not much else, so this is a rather straightforward nose on this whiskey. Oh please, go right ahead and if you want to taste, <laughs> feel free. No, no, no problem. We are after all in a very public place and a very popular one as well. Right, on the palate then. Mmm, mmm. Wow, punchy. Punchy of course, and immediately the big vanilla explosion is there again, but also the, uh, I also get some caramel, the white fruit returns, but again, mid palate, I do get this, this oak in there, and it's a bit too much to my taste, and it becomes slightly bitter. Now, I'm not saying that it is um, uh, uh, overly bitter, but it does become very spicy, and, and the oak is really, really dominating in this whiskey. On the finish then. Mm. The finish is pretty long, but that, that bitterness, those tannins from the oak cast that I got on the palate, that is really, yeah, yeah, in the finish it really pronounces itself. It, um, well, to be honest, the bitterness becomes even more outspoken on this, on this long finish. I do get some licorice, some wood smoke, walnuts even, and funnily enough, at the death I do get a pinch of salt. Wow, well, it is a nice whiskey, let's be honest, but it is a tad too bitter to be truly great. The story behind it, however, or the, the idea behind the Canto Cask series, that is truly great. And um, I, I do like the fact that John Glazer and his crew at Compass Box, they have the guts, they have the balls to experiment with casks, to experiment with uh, single malts, vatted malts, whatever you want to call it. They experiment, and that in itself is something to be applauded, even though the whiskey does not always have to be uh, outstanding. This is this is a very good whiskey, 
not great, but very good indeed and worthy of seeking out. And that, my friends, is all from this Whiskey Rambling uh, here from the, uh, the capital of France, the beautiful city of Paris. Uh, that's all for this Whiskey Rambling, and I hope to see you again at one of Mark's Whiskey Ramblings real soon. Until then, au revoir.